What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Cesar, and we are talking about two stocks today for Mr. Do Louie. We're talking about Fubo and Wood today. We're gonna get some Fubo Wood or Woody Fubo. I don't, I don't know, man. Fubo TV. Um, I've heard of it, never used it. I don't, I don't know too much about it, but I've definitely heard of it. So they definitely do marketing. Um, let's see. Or they have people who do marketing for them. I don't know. I don't know how to phrase that. But let's get into this. Enough of the antics. Um, bottom to top. You're at your golden ratio. Hey. You could go lower. You are just getting oversold right now. You could go lower. Yeah. Oh, you got some bullish divergence, though. I don't know. This is a good zone to turn around from, man. Dare I step out on a limb? You kind of forewent that bullish divergence, didn't you, though? Yes, you did. All right. I think you're going lower, guys. I think you are. 786, 886, coming at you hot. $1.30 to $1.10 around there. Look to find support there, because if not, you're going all the way down to $0.65 cents or lower. But I have hopes. I have hopes. Yep. Yep, yep. Down. I think it's going down. That's Fubo. Let's talk about wood now. Let's get some wood. iShares Global Timber and Forestry ETF. Never heard of it. But there's an ETF for everything, man. They got an ETF for Bitcoin, I heard. Uh, $81 here. Monthly RSI looks fine, actually. Let me just see here. Let's just take a look at this real quick. So, on your monthly RSI, anytime you've been below the 50, right? Below this line. On your first pass above it, it's not sustained. You come back below it, and then the second pass you go up. First pass above it, not sustained. Came back below it, and then you go up. First pass above it, not sustained. Second time you went above it. First time, not sustained. Second time, you went above it. First time, not sustained. Second time, you actually even bounced off the 50 here. I think you're in the midst of something greater. So I do I do like this look. I think you are going to go up higher just based off of that. That's not a lot to go off of, but but for what we have historically speaking, uh, it kind of makes sense, right? It kind of makes sense. Let's look at the weekly. Actually, first, I want to look at the monthly still. So. Get rid of the RSI, throw some fibs on there, top to bottom. That's a nice structure, guys. That's a nice structure. I think it wants to move up. You're at 81. You're going to see 83 to 86 soon, probably moving up to 90 and 94. I would love it. I would love it on a monthly scale, even a weekly scale, if you could close above the 618, somewhere in this range or even higher. Close above $83.68. Close above it on your first pass. And if you can do that, then you, you are potentially looking at 111 to $130. That's your expected range. Let's go back in time and just see, doing a little bit more of an in-depth analysis on this one. It's a little, It's got a little bit more of a story to it, I think. Uh, let's see. Top to bottom. Come on now. There you go. Topped off at your 1886. Hey, didn't even hit your 1272 this time, unfortunately, but you are respecting your fibs. You definitely are. Um, 1886 hit once though, at least we know that. 1886 area again, kind of makes sense, similar highs and lows. Um, top to bottom here. Didn't even hit your 1272. Maybe you are making strides up to your 1886. I like this, man. I like this look a lot. I, I do. I think you're going to break $100 soon. Like you're in the middle of the move that's going to take you up. I don't think, I don't think you're going to go below $75 again until you break above 100 like i just don't think you're going to i think you're going to go up higher you formed your higher low now you're looking for your higher high it will take months probably sometime in 2025 that you'll break a uh, hundred dollars maybe it happens later this year but i kind of doubt it but I, I don't know man at the same time if you look at this it moves up pretty pretty quick it does move up pretty quick you get these consolidation phases for a while but it looks like you're ready to move out of it again that check back on the 50 does it for me man let's look at the weekly the weekly rsi looks bullish guys it's a bullish looking weekly. Once you get over bot, you'll probably see this thing really start moving. So long story short, in the more immediate term, I would look for 84 to 80, $88, somewhere in that range, potentially all the way up to $94 even in the more immediate term, like over the coming months probably. But um, given a year's time or more, 
uh, maybe even a little bit less than a year's time, maybe sometime in the, in the middle of this or, or toward the end of this year, you could see prices up at like 110 or higher, but it looks good. It looks good. Yeah, I think it does look good. Uh, day to day, let's see, the daily looks fine. Yeah, you want to go up rather immediately. I think so. If you move down, it's going to be minute in comparison to the amount of growth you're going to do. So yeah, looks good. Uh, global timber is going up in value, probably. Wood houses are getting more expensive, man. So start buying concrete. I don't know. Um, that's all I got for you guys. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.